I also have it in Excel. If you're familiar with Excel, I have the same sheet on Blackboard. So you can fill it and we'll do the math for you. Hey, you can use that. You should. He said, yeah. you can use the future. <laughs> 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 okay, so if you know how to fill this square, yeah. it should be good for this semester and the next one. It's really not that difficult. But I'm going to do it step by step, and please. Carbs. <laughs> and uh, what you need to do. You'll fill this. I have it also in Excel. You can do that. Stop me. If you understand. As Bill says, you know, this business of asking what you just said is kind of, it gets old. I don't. Okay, so uh, this is actually room by room. So the first thing you see here is uh, putting the dimension. You get that from where? Floor from plan. the floor plan. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you can put that in your resume that you are familiar with floor plans. And blueprints, you would love to see that. So, you, and in all fairness, you do use schematics, you do use floor plans, and uh, this is what you will see in real life for a floor plan. It's not going to be very intimidating once you know how to use <coughs> the other ones. It's very similar to what you have here. Have you tried to submit the project? Huh? You tried to submit? Yeah. Okay. I want to follow up your calculation. So, if you look here, you gotta get the length, width, and height, and this you get from here. This two, for example, bedroom one. I'm gonna call this bedroom one. Okay? Length, twelve, width, fourteen, and height is nine. Are we good with this step? If you have an issue with that, raise your hand. No. I don't have that white floor plan. Use whatever you have. You want to play the same thing. You can do that way out. Okay? So now, if you look here, the first thing is infiltration. Guys, quiet, please, so I can continue. If you see, it says the volume, so. You multiply four, three of them together. I'll do that. Where is it say one? This is hard to read. Twelve times fourteen times nine. Twelve. Factor. Where do I get the factor? Somebody shout out, please. Make my day. The book. What page? Seventy. Seventy-one. If I look here. This window, this bedroom, has windows on what side? How many sides? Uh, one, two, one side. Huh? Make up your mind. Two, two sides. One, one side. One side. Two, one side. So if I look here, I'm going to use the middle section because it's a weather strip and the storm sash. So a room with windows and doors, one side only. Doors to the outside, to the inside, do not count. So only things to the outside. Only windows or doors to the outside. So if this bedroom had a door to the outside here, you'll count that. Would um, the doors to the garage be considered outside? Because no. sometimes garage is not isolated. No. Here it is. Here it's not to the outside. Because the thing about wind and infiltration, mm -hmm. we do not continue uh, to count that. So it's the windows and doors only in one side. We're good? Yeah. So it would be the 0 0.012 factor. Exactly. So, point zero, one two. What is DTD? Temperature difference. Temperature inside and temperature outside. Where are you gonna put that? 
put it somewhere here. Uh, temperature outside. We did, we did that last time for wherever you put your city. So it's going to be zero. What do you want the inside to be? 75? That's warm. For me, it is. How do you know if the windows are weather stripped or not? Well, you want to be weather stripped. Okay, no, it's a new design, so it's no, not you're assuming that these are weather stripped. Yeah. If not, just put the uh, not weather stripped. And where do you put that? In your assumption sheet here. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, we did that. So whatever assumption you have, you put it as is. If you go to a house that has that is not weather stripped, you're gonna put that as not weather stripped. Okay? So what is the DT now? 75. 75. What is the BTU per hour? Most likely. Yeah. I got 13. Six zero. Don't worry about the decimal. Thirteen sixty point eight. Yeah. Don't worry about the point. That's enough. Just round up to an extra Why Okay. So I had a excuse that was my I have thirty five thousand. What did you make? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it could be a group. Any question? Ask me now or forever hold your peace. Because if you have a question, somebody else might have a question. Are we done with bedroom one? Or we could, yeah. No, we fill out all this. Yeah. We're doing it step by step. Just the cut there, just multiplication. Good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You choose the place with storm flash windows? Yeah. If you don't want, you can put whatever you choose in the project sheet and <laughs> continue with that. But we can use storm sheet, uh, storm sash, and weather stripping. We're good? Okay. So let's move on to the ceiling. Bedroom. What do you mean? What do we mean by, by the ceiling? How No. It's the area of the ceiling. Okay. Okay. What is the area of the ceiling? Twelve by fourteen. Twelve by fourteen. It's the same as the room. Yeah. Same as the floor. So that's one six eight. This is all geometry, kind of, right? Yeah. Volume, area, perimeter. Four would be the same as the ceiling. Yeah, let's do it step by step now. Yeah, it's gonna be the same, exactly. If you wanna jump ahead, yeah. What is the factor of the ceiling? Give me a factor that, that you got from your project sheet. 100? It can't be 100, come on. Wait, is that a factor? Yeah, cable factor. For the Yeah. Where do you get that from, again? Would it be the same thing as wall type? No. That's in So if you look at your book, you'll find a lot of numbers for ceiling. You pick one, wall, bricks, and we picked that last time together. Oh, ceiling. Here. Here. So, with attic space above. Here you go. So table three, section twenty-two, ceiling with attic above. Okay. So I'm gonna pick this one. And you put that where? In here. And the ceiling is gonna be the same for all rooms, right? You're not gonna change ceiling in every room. You can I guess pick the type of ceiling for the entire house. So I'm gonna pick F, which is 0 0.070, and I'm gonna put that here. 0 0.070. Yeah. 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 What is DTD? 
It's going to be the same. It's not going to change at all. 75, 75. We don't have slab. How did you come to um, the... Uh, <coughs> so we're assuming that's just one story and it's not insulated above it? What about you fix it here? For what? The temperature difference? No. If it's a ceiling, if it's a one, one story and the... the the top is not heated, so you're going to lose heat from that. So it's like a, a ranch, one story. Okay. If the second floor is heated, you do not have heat loss from the ceiling. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Whatever you want. So we're treating it like a Just put it right down. You don't have already. You already fit something. So ceiling, dive, roof. You already fit something. See? So put that. Okay? Floor is technically the floor. Good? Good? Ceiling and floor are always the same size. Yeah, put it down. We put it together in the yeah. class. Already. Use it. And now we like, do it something different. No, no, they can do the same thing. Just put it in there. What we pick for this? Yeah. For filtration. So it has to be the same with the um, control. We the, the middle one. And it was also for the. <coughs> Uh, we can consider the whole attic as the outdoor kitchen. No, 1360. I rounded up to 1360. What did you guys use for a floor? I keep, yeah, we wrote it down. I have a 0.05. That's what I have. Oh, the floor. The floor table. What do you do for wall? No. What was that? In the practice. For wall. I think it's the same for wall. You have it's table 3, section 13H, U factor 0 0.2. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because it's got a window. And again, I repeat, you can choose whatever you want. So, 0707, you you make you have to just put that in your side. Yeah. So choose whatever you want, just write it down and be consistent. If you use a ceiling one type, it's going to be the same for the all rooms. You cannot choose a ceiling for each room. The floor is going to be the same for each room. You might do, just let me know what did you do. So this is the part for the floor. What is the factor? If I choose F here, it's going to be 0.707. What about the floor? We said uh, on the house information sheet, 0.05. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Jonas. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Temperature's the same. Temperature's the same. Yeah. Okay. For the entire project, for the entire rooms. Unless you want them to be different, but usually it's going to be the same. We're good? Yeah. Good. I said Crazy. Question. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, how do you know the window? Do we care about the window size right now? Yeah, we're going to do the windows. How do we like the, the size of them. Huh? The size of them is yeah. what he's asking. Make the area. Sense. Do we just make up a size? Or? Uh, if he's not giving, just give me a size. Put it, write it down some, some size. Probably 4 by 3, 6 by 4. Write it down on the sheet and be what consistent. What about for the bathroom? 4 by 3? We're going to need the bathroom too. So, um, there's no numbers yeah, for the bathroom, so we just make those numbers up. We could, yeah. The whole thing is just a mark to help you understand how to do it. Yeah, we can go here. 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 Yeah, we can go
Questions? Okay. So let me do the floor. Uh, let's stick with the floor. What did you What did you pick for the floor, Anatoly? We did uh, table three. Point zero five. Okay. I'm gonna go with point zero five. I'll do the calculation for that. Sixty thirty or sorry, six thirty. Six thirty. Oh no, sorry, the one above that's eight eighty two. Yeah. Okay, now we need the windows. Yeah, the windows. What did you do what do we use for the windows? Let's say these windows here are three by four. So what is the area of the window? Windows, bottom. Gonna be twenty four? If it's three by four, three by four, yeah. that's twelve on twelve, that's twenty-four. Times the factor. What is the factor for the windows? The windows keep slab. Huh? The windows keep slab. Slab that if you have concrete, oh. which is not just concrete, I'm just giving you an option. I'm going to use double class, low emitters, that's uh, with aluminum. <coughs> I'm going to use uh, three, three, four, one. Three, point three, three, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. No. Double glass. Let me see which one I want to use. With storm size. Yeah. I don't know. Point three four one. Seven one. Three four one or this other one? Whatever you want. Which one? We wrote down three four one. Let's write down three four one. Okay. Three four one. It's gonna be less confusing than yeah. the first one. What about the first one? Three four one. Three four one. I got six, one, three, point eight. Walls, how many walls on the outside? We have two, if we assume this is three by four and three by four, we have two windows, the area is 24. Yeah. Yeah. What did you use for the factor for the windows? I used the 0.314. So that wall would be, that wall would be nine by 14 minus the Two, three by four window. Excellent. So the wall will be nine times fourteen minus twenty-four. I got one or two. Yep. What is the factor for the wall? Anatoly. Uh, wall. We had a point two nine. Twenty-nine. Remember when we did the, uh, oh. when we filled this section out? Oh, this is what we did. Yeah, whatever is written down on our project is what we did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a big okay. So this is what I got. So far, for one room, I'm going to add those together, and this is the total BTU for the room. That's really easy, actually. Um, when we do other rooms, let's say the kitchen, and we have appliances there, do we still account no. for that floor no. space being taken up? Yeah, you take the floor space, but you do not take the appliances. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. No, we're not doing doors for this bed. bedroom. Has okay. all of and we're the not doors doing the doors. Interior. If no, it was like we're, an door, like we're not doing the doors because they're interior. Yeah. Yeah. Do we yes. count that? In? Uh, but do we do anything with right the right insulation and the size and that? Do you get that? The only reason we're not doing doors for this one is because all the doors are five, interior. Seven, zero, four. So if we were doing a door like this, that's an exterior door. That's what I got for one room. This one is you can do the same thing for each room in there. So I did one room. It's on our video. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Ask me questions now, and every Friday will take some time. I, don't, I want to watch you do it. This is really important. You can have a lot of questions. Do I know they use the appliances? What kind of windows? Windows is outside. What if the ceiling is? What if the uh, sec, what if it's a two two story house, and the second floor is heated? No. Do I count the ceiling? Yeah, you double. No. 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 Ceiling doesn't come into play at all, does it? No. If it's between floors, no. Yeah. Is the um the garage going to be heated? You can hit the garage if you want. 